Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're taking a look at another brand new figure from the Wave 1 Wow Roar assortment. This assortment is the one basically is same as Roar, Roar, and Mix Sound. It has action feature. This is from the Epic Evolution again. This is the Hesperosaurus. And he is pretty hefty. He is pretty heavy of a figure. Um, Pretty nice figure. I do enjoy it. It's kind of plain as we... Just looking from the outside. Um, and then this is the back of the box. It's a new biome. I believe it's Swamp. And this is the rest of the wave main. As you can see, there's new biomes too. There is uh, Savannah, there is the snow, and there is Swamp Snow. So this one makes sound and have action features. So let's open this one and check it out. All right, so this one's a little different. Uh, being the box is only so big, that's a lot of times we have to plug in the tail of the figure. And this one, the tail is already on the figure itself because it has an action feature attached to it. So therefore, we're only plugging in the little end of the tail on the figure. So there we go. All right, so first impression of this figure, I will say um, I wish it was a little more paint. You know, being that, as you can see from the other Epic Evolution, this one has tons of paint. And the other dinosaurs we saw have a lot more deco to go along with it. But now we're back down to just the lack of deco really just make this figure very bland. Along with the proportions, I gotta say. Um, okay, so let's take a look at it. So first thing first, this figure is actually pretty big. Pretty huge for what it is. Um, so let's take a look at the head. Um, the head to me is a little cartoony. It almost looks like a turtle, turtle head and a turtle neck. Um, gone are the days where we have the neck articulation to move the head up and down. Now it's just one straight piece. And also, to me, the plates are kind of large and far in between. Like, there's huge gaps between them. And I said earlier, this figure remind me of even the Nigrosaurus and the Astrosaraptor. That has the same basic light green and darker swampy green. So this one has a little bit of cream on his beak. It does have a beak though, so that, that part is cool. Um, along with a little patch of paint here, the eyes are okay, they're not too crazy. Um, and just random little blotches here, doesn't really have necessarily anything else going on down that way. And this one has articulation. Again, I'm grateful for um, the new action feature is a wheel versus just pushing the figure down, as I said earlier. In other videos that when we push the figure down, after a while, the dancer can't even really stand on his own. So this is a, a welcoming thing. So the wheel is on top here. You click on the wheel. Okay, so it works pretty well. The tail strike in action. I'm not quite sure if the sounds are new or not, though. So, as all other um, wild roars we have, the arms and the legs can move. They're not um, on the same joint, so you can actually rotate them all differently. Um, this one is pretty muscular of a dinosaur. Along with some strong legs. And then the back of the tail, the, um, the spikes are not painted. I think it will benefit if we painted it... Um, some other color. So right now I have another dinosaur we can compare it with, which is sizable around the same. The Kentrosaurus that we got back in Dino Escape. Kentrosaurus is a little midge larger than this one. But like I said before, as you can see the Kentrosaurus, he has a neck articulation that can go up or down. Versus this one, it's just the same neck. No articulation. And it's a bit cartoony. To me, the proportions are kind of all over the place with this one. It's huge, though. It is definitely huge as compared to Pentrosaurus here. K 
can't really see the both of them. Let me make sure. As you can see, the two of them together. Again, not a bad figure. It's just, it, it lacks the paint and it really does hinder the scope. You know, you don't really see as much of the detail. As you can see here, actually, let me show you. The details on the body is amazing. There's lots of little scales, lots of little bumps. There we go. And then compare it to Stegosaurus. You see how big it is? It's pretty huge, right? Compared to a Stegosaurus. Especially how thick the arms are and everything. Yeah, so pros and cons. Um, action feature works very well. Just lack, lack of pain. But it's a welcome addition to the line. Another new species. And here is this code. Boom. All right, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.